Hello, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. What's cooking in Zahira's kitchen today? Today I will be showing you guys how to make classic Somali tea. Man to hani baraya, say the loss of my shahin or Somali da. Um, hadaka say shahin, say loss of my skafir, so that I can say in welcome and I hope you have a great manta. So, we have a bila wena, um, hail karfo yo dagayare. Um, so we're gonna start with the three most classic spices that you will always find in Somali tea which is cinnamon bark um cloves and uh cardamom I don't know what I'm thinking there you can use an electric blender if you want or you can just grind it physically and then just make sure everything is grounded and as you can see and then we're going to add in two cups of water now this measurement um it's completely up to you um I'm making four cups of tea if you want you can make as much as you want just make sure you put less of each cup and we're going to add in two cups of milk and half a cup of sugar again make sure you add the sugar to your taste if you like more sugar add more sugar if you are if you like less sugar then add less sugar and then you're going to add one tablespoon of the spices that we were grinding earlier and then you also add in your tea bags. So I'm using two two tea bags for my measurement. If you try to go for six cups, maybe the tea bags will be fine, depending on the quality of your tea bags. If you're gonna go for more, then make sure you make your tea bags three. And then just keep stirring that until everything is ready. And the sugar has melted slowly and the tea bags are infusing into the tea. And you know Somali tea is ready when you see that poof at the top and when this happens make sure you turn your heat low because you don't want everything over pouring and then when you put the heat low and then keep on stirring it because we really want to cook this tea yeah and when that is brewing you're gonna um, have to wait for one more extra poof if you don't have patience just take it off the um, cooker right now if not just wait on to the second poof and as you can see it's slowly bubbling up and when you see this your chai is cooking up nice Oh my god and guys I cannot explain the smell of this tea it just smells so classic so nice trust me it's as, it's as yummy as it smells and that's our second poof <laughs> and we're done and as you can see my tea is completed and cooked now I'm just going to remove the tea bags because I don't want to use the so when I'm straining it, I don't want the tea bags to fall into my kettle. I usually have that problem and then I have all the tea spilling. So after removing all my tea bags, I'm just going to strain this into my kettle. The reason I strain this is because I don't want the spices going in my tea. That's why you just want a smooth drinking experience. <laughs> And that's ready. And just enjoy the Somali shah. Beautiful, right? Thank you for watching my videos, guys. I hope to see you soon. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. And don't forget to let me know um what i what you want to see next and don't forget to follow me on all my socials and i hope to see you all soon take care bye bye